An electrician was working on an open electrical panel on a ship. He needed to add a new cable and attach it to a breaker within the panel. The electrician identified the isolation breaker that fed the entire panel on the schematic drawing. The electrician de-energized the breaker and properly tagged out. As the electrician was fitting the new cable into the panel, his left hand came into contact with the panel's main bus bars. 440 volts of current passed from the bus bars through his left hand, across his chest, and out his right hand that braced him against the panel, electrocuting him. At some point, the tagged out isolation breaker had been cross-wired with another breaker. The electrician did not know that the panel he was working on was never de-energized. Let's look at some of the contributing factors that led to this fatality. Employees should verify the location of all energy isolation points. Employees must check or test electrical panels or electrically powered equipment to ensure they are, in fact, de-energized before working inside them or within the vicinity of exposed electrical circuits. Inform all contractors and subcontractors of the ship's systems and or modifications to the systems prior to beginning work.